Hello, I'm Colin Daly of Campbell Scientific in Logan, Utah. In a different video, Barb Utley, one of our water quality experts, walked us through setting up SDI-12 control of the VSC-100 to allow a data logger to communicate with and control a 5000 series sampler. Today, we'll be setting up that data logger, a CR-1000. We have the sampler control cable connected to the front of the sampler and the other end to our CR-1000. Notice that we have the green wire in C1 and the purple wire in G or ground here. To get you started, we have some example programs on our website. Navigate to the PVS5100 page and click on the Support tab. Scroll down to the Download section. Click Download Now. If you aren't registered or have logged into our site, you can do that later. A zip file will be saved on your computer. Extract and save the files. We'll be looking at the SDI-12 program because we followed scenario B of the Quick Deploy Guide and set up the sampler for SDI-12 control. In the CR Basic Editor, you will see an array of four variables. The values returned are sample bottle number, sample number, response code, and sampler battery voltage. We set the sampler address to zero earlier, so our program has to match that here. The response codes from Table 1 of the Quick Deploy Guide are reflected here. This is the instruction to read the sampler. The port number is where we connected the green wire, C1 in our case, so we have entered a 1 here. Again, the address matches the address set earlier in the hardware and up above. We don't need to change anything here. If you made any changes to the program, make sure you save it before sending. We'll use LoggerNet's Connect screen to send the program to our CR1000. My CR1000 that's connected to the sampler is selected here. Connect. Collecting your data is recommended. Now we'll send our SDI-12 sampler program to the CR1000. We just collected data, so we'll click Yes. Read the compile results to make sure there are no apparent problems. Check the public table in the table monitor. Our program queries the sampler every 15 minutes at 0, 15, 30, and 45 minutes after the hour. Monitor this public table to make sure you are getting the expected results before deploying your sampler in the field and once it has been deployed. Please contact a Campbell Scientific Water Resources Engineer to discuss your application and for answers about automatic water samplers for stormwater, wastewater, or other water quality applications.